Welcome back to Tracking That, a channel where we try to track what liberals are saying but end up not being able to as usual. Well, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden have lost the left. Even the radical left can't go on Jimmy Kimmel without getting heckled by their own kind. This time it was, <gasps> surprise, pro-Palestinian protesters. Look, we all know under a strong Trump administration, none of these wars would have started and even Democrats admit that. In this Israel-Palestine war, I sympathize with both sides because check it out, there's innocent lives being lost on both sides of the aisle, but no way in hell am I going to waste my time throwing a temper tantrum and consume my life with this war. The only reason I care is because we're depleting our military supply, helping these guys, essentially weakening us further as well as wasting our hard-earned taxpayer dollars that should be used at our own border. Frankly, I think a lot of other people shouldn't waste their time protesting this war. They should be more concerned about squaring their lives away before trying to change the world, but what do I know? There's three major protesters that are the most annoying. The number one being the ABCDEFG community, the second being the climate activists, and lastly, the pro-Palestine protesters, the ones wrecking havoc on college campuses and harassing the Jews. Anyways, these protesters interrupted Jimmy Kimmel's interview with her, and he allegedly had to refilm, which I'm trying to picture that, like having to reintroduce Kamala to meet again. Cringe! But I'm sympathizing with these protesters. When I roll the clip, take a look at how unjustly the security treats them. Stop the genocide! 15,000 children died because of you! Stop the genocide! You're interrupting my flow. Anybody else? If anyone else has anything to say, this is the time. 1.9 million people are No camera. Uh, yeah. You're under arrest at the moment, so okay. please let me have your ID for interfering with a live oh, television broadcast. I'd like to see the law that says that. You, you don't need to see the law, you need to show me the ID. Oh. I do You're under arrest. Law. That's all you need to know. This has to be the worst security guard ever. First lying that he was a cop, then secondly making up a law. I want to say he's trying to put them on a citizen's arrest, but I legitimately think this dolt thinks security are equivalent to cops and can arrest people. Look, I worked security at a hospital before. These are exactly the type of people that everyone hates. You are not a cop and you don't have the authority to be a cop. That's so let me have your ID. That's not are you a police officer? Works. Yes. Are you a police Turn officer? around. Turn around. Don't touch no, no, me. Can you no. Why can I move? Can we see your badge? Yeah. I am. I am I'd looking like at security here, we and it doesn't make any difference. Back. You are yeah. under arrest. Yeah, it actually makes all the difference in the world if you're a cop or not. I think this guy was either a police academy fail or a cop that got kicked out. It does. We're not under arrest. Can we? Not. Yeah. So it's, it's you can believe what you want. I don't care. Hey, hey, hey! Stand up! Stand up! Give me my ID. How dare you! Yeah, I'm tracking that there's going to be some people fired due to this poor execution of removing these individuals. Wow, never thought I'd defend a pro-Palestinian protester. I mean, there's an automatic case of false imprisonment, imposing a cop, negligence, assault, God knows what else. But on the topic of Kamala Harris, why is she on Jimmy Kimmel? First of all, everyone stopped watching him back when he started to become a professional Trump hater. But what on earth would she have interesting to say? She's a complete and total bust, but check it out, that's the result of a DI hire. I'm going to be wrapping this video up with Trump announcing that he has just raised nearly $400 million post-conviction. And by the way, right after the announcement of this, more campaign funds were given to this campaign than any campaign they think in history. Almost $400 million. $400 no, it's never been. Nobody's ever seen because they know it was rigged. They know it's a corrupt system. They know all about it. But with your help, less than five months from now, and we're going, and I'll tell you what, we have to change the system. We have to straighten out what's going on in these courts. We got a rigged deal going, this whole country, and we've got to do it. And those appellate courts have to step up and straighten things out, or we're not going to have a country any 